Happy Friday, guys. Go Indians. Today, our topic is going to be creating a sequence. So if you get your homework, uh, let's check out number one and see what they're going to want us to do. Okay, so number one, this is going to be just like Wednesday's homework. The only thing is you do not already have a table made. So if you create a table around this set of lines, it should work out just like Wednesday. So I'm going to pretend like I'm making a table. Later on, on the other questions, if you don't want to make the table because you got it figured out, that's totally fine. So I'm going to make the table, and on the top, we're going to put the position numbers. So we should start out with one, first position, and then just count down two, three, four, five. We're going to be doing the first five positions in the sequence. And then in the story problem, it's going to tell you what the rule is. It's going to say, use the expression, and it's going to change every time. So this one says the rule is 3 in. 3 in. What does 3 in mean? 3 times the position number. 3 times the position number. So for me to get my terms in the sequence, I need to multiply all these position numbers by 3. Now that's pretty easy, so you might be able to do it in your brain. Um, if not, then you're just going to do each position number times 3. And then fill in the answer below. How much is 1 times 3? Three? 3. How much is 2 times 3? 6. How much is 3 times 3? 9. 4 times 3? 12. And 5 times 3? 15. Okay, how easy was that? Easy. Yeah. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So we're going to go to number two, because I told you the rule's going to change every time, but the position numbers are going to stay one, two, three, four, five. So in question two, if you like making the table, you could um, create it again. If you don't want to create the table, but you can solve it, that's fine. I'm going to put my position numbers. They're always, for us today, going to be one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to look up in the story problem. I'm going to see what does it say the rule is going to be. 3n This time, not just 3n. This time, 3n plus 4. So what does that mean I'm going to do every time to get my terms? Awesome. So I'm going to put that in at least by the first one. Times 3, then plus 4. If you want to put that on all of them, you can. If you think you can keep it straight in your brain, that's fine. And it will not always be 3n. It will change up and you'll multiply with other numbers as well. So if I want to get the first term in the sequence, I'm going to do 1 times 3 plus 4. Okay? Okay. Then to get the second term, I need to do 2 times 3 plus 4. How much is that? 10. Okay. Then for the third term, what would I do? Multiply by 3 and 4. So it'd be 13. Okay, perfect. How about the fourth term? 16. Okay. Plus 4. And how about the fifth term? 19. Awesome. So you guys think you could keep doing that? Yeah. I'm already Remember, the rule is going to change every time. It is not always going to be times 3. It's not always going to be plus. Sometimes it might also be minus. Okay, so you guys are going to finish the tables on your own. And then I'm going to give you a list of apps to download if you have your Apple IDs. I do.